Hey everybody, happy Monday to you. Hope you had a very nice weekend. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. And I'm Scott Gradsky. And this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Now, probably by now, Scott, most people, especially Brewers fans, they know about the Josh Hader trade on his way now to San Diego. But from your perspective, what really led up to this kind of move? Because it was a shock, right? It was totally a shock to see a first place team trading a four-time All-Star. But really, it was baseball economics that led up to this point. Hader was going to be a free agent at the end of next season, and the Brewers are a team that always want to be competitive. David Stearns talks about always having as many bites at the apple as they can possibly get. This is how you do that. You trade a player who's still in his prime, a player who's still worth a lot to get four players who can help not only immediately, but going forward in the future. The Padres gave up two of their top ten prospects, as well as two major league ready pitchers who will slide in right now in part to fill the void left by Josh Hader. Josh Hader will be missed for sure by uh, many, many Brewers fans. Scott, thank you so much. Let's get over to Ready Weather and Chief Meteorologist Drew Burgoyne. The steamy forecast continues, Drew. Hi, guys. Yeah, 87 this afternoon. So we get you ready for this evening. Uh, maybe an after-dinner walk, walking the dog, something like that. Lower 80s through 7 o'clock by 8 o'clock. Expected a temp at 78. Starting out tomorrow morning, mid-60s. And then tomorrow afternoon, that winds out of the southeast. We'll see a high temperature topping out near 80 degrees. We're dry for Tuesday, but a few showers and thunderstorms will arrive on Wednesday. All right, Drew, thank you. An update today from President Biden's doctor. He says the president is still testing positive for COVID, but feeling well after a positive test in a rebound case Saturday morning. Jenna Wells joining us now with uh, more on what these rebound cases are, Jenna. What yes, are they? Jessup, Dr. Jeff Potoff with UW Health explained to me today that while rebound cases of COVID are rare, they can happen to individuals who take the medication Paxlovid to treat a COVID infection. And some people after treatment and a negative test, they'll receive a positive test two to eight days later. That's the rebound infection. Potoff said it can happen if Paxlovid and your immune system just aren't able to wipe out the entire virus in one go. This usually only happens in people with slower immune systems. In that case, you do have to do a second isolation, but rebound COVID doesn't really have any symptoms at all most of the time. So again, it's not considered a common outcome. Jenna, thank you so much. And today, Waukesha County declaring fentanyl a community health crisis. Overdoses have become the leading cause of non-natural deaths in people 18 to 45 years old. That happened just the last few years and continues that trend. The county plans to use money from an opioid settlement to combat fentanyl. They will expand Narcan training as well. The Wisconsin State Fair opens up Thursday on top of the food and live music, of course comes over 40 rides that, of course, your kids and adults probably will love as well. The rides got to town on Saturday and inspection started right away. Crews with the Department of Safety and Professional Services are going around all week to make sure everything is operating smoothly and safely. They're looking for things like working seat belts, lap restraints, and if the rides making sure they're properly on the tracks. A top inspector says they haven't run into any issues so far. And of course, check out CBS 58's 10 o'clock news for a bunch of sports news, including more on the Josh Hader trade and an interview with Hall of Fame inductee Leroy Butler. Also coming up tonight at 9 and 10, the latest on the Republican National Convention. We should know the final decision on the location soon. All things right now are pointing to Milwaukee. A crash at the Great Lakes Dragaway takes the life of an Illinois man. That and much more coming up tonight. But for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you watching.